what is up awesome people so today we're going to look at tiny whoops that just goes crazy after a couple of packs of flying and in this sense i'm flying the 2024 mobula 6 and one fine day it just decided that it doesn't want to fly so we're going to troubleshoot this issue and see what we can do to get this back in the air now the current problem i'm facing for this tiny whoop is that it just flies very weird and the, upon arming it just goes nuts and i am barely able to control its direction and throttle so we're going to see what we can do to fix this. So of course the first thing I did is to go to the Happy Model website, copy the dump file and paste it into the Betaflight CLI and this is to reset all whatever things that could be going on, perhaps ghosts in the shell. Once that is done, always make sure to calibrate your flight controller. This is to ensure that everything works out nicely. Do check that left is left, right is right, up is up and down is down. A few moments later. Okay, so I test flight the tiny whoop and it is still having the same issue. So the next thing we're going to do is going to strip the tiny whoop apart and do a physical check to see if there are any faults or things like that. Now, usually a copy and paste of the dump file would actually fix whatever issues that the tiny whoop flight controller will have. But sometimes there could be faults on the tiny whoop flight controller or the motors that will actually cause the quad to have issues. Now in this sense, I stripped down the Mobula 6 only to find a loose wire on one of the motors. So what I did was just pluck out that wire, resolder the wire back onto the flight controller and for some weird reason, everything turned out fine after that. Now, if everything is looking good on the flight controller, as in your wires and whatnots are well soldered and everything seems fine, yet after copying the dump file, things are still not the way they should be, then you should go for a full reflash with the erasing of the flight controller. That should totally delete whatever that was there before and refresh the flight controller with the current up-to-date dump file. So with that in mind, let's head out to the field. 